is Miguel the Butcher Pember. And your referee in charge of the action is Chris Lieben. UFC legend, as our referee there, Chris Lieben. We've got Xavier Vines in the pink short, Miguel Pemba in the white, and straight away those long limbs. Good one, too, by Vines. I told you he's got a really fast jab. He's going to have a speed advantage. Miguel's going to have to work his way through that. Yeah, he has like a Dalson type reach where you don't think you're in range, but then the two hits you. And you're like, where'd that come from? He set it up with a 3 2 that time, so came on the outside of the lead hand. Really nimble work there by Vines. Lovely Fight. job again. Ooh. He's sniping with that. He's he's actually starting off a little more calm than a lot of his fights before. A lot of times he just jumps into the fire just to get things going, and this time he looks a little more composed. And he's showing the butcher little bits of his offense all the time. Jab, jab, low kick, keeping him guessing as well. Again. Miguel's having trouble finding his reign. He's going to need to keep his head off the center line here and look to go to the body. Try to find the body first before you can find the head. He had a little success with that hook, but he paid for it afterwards. Ooh. He's kind of stuck staring, waiting, for, waiting to see what Vines is going to do next when he has to just get started, go charge forward. Kind of start the fight out like Vines usually does. And, and finds really emotionless as well. I mean, just super composed on his face. Switching stances. Yeah, you called the stance switch there, Ian, and he immediately threw a rear kick to that open side of the body. There's a good low kick landed by Miguel. He used the lateral movement against Vines. And again, oh. with a combo work. That made him limp a little bit. Vines is setting it up with that jab. There's already redness over the tattoo. 